What is good, YouTube? It is your boy, Zag Zyther, checking in for what seems to be yet another installment here on the channel. Checking in with another HD video, and today, we are training neck and calves. Just kidding, we are training quads and hamstrings, guys. Today, we are warming up with 225 pounds currently. Not every single set was recorded. I, of course, warmed up with 135 before this set. However, today I wanted to go heavy for you guys. I really wanted to attempt to get a new PR. And so I went up to 405 pounds in the squat. And you guys will see how it goes quite shortly. So, in terms of warm-up sets, um, it's weird how I go up in weight. It's very dependent on what I'm actually doing that day. Um, since I'm going heavy today... What I kind of followed was doing like a set with 135, a set with 225, um, I actually did a set with 275, yeah I did record that. I did a set with the 275 and a set with the three feet, 315 that you just saw, um, and after that I went to 365 for a single. And this 365 feels very easy, um, the most I've ever did it is for two reps but with amazing depth like right there um, my camera angle isn't the best but I got very very good depth and right here is the working set the whole reason I went into the gym and um, I had a long time of like getting myself mentally into it before going into this set you can see how hard I'm breathing and everything but this is 405 pounds and watch the depth right here I went so fucking deep and I was pushing so damn hard, and I really thought I had that set. Um, I really should have made breathing more of a priority. You could see how red my face got, because I was trying to hold my breath. Just something, you know, I've, I, I do at times. You know, breathing isn't something I can always think about. And I don't know, you guys. I really think that I have that 405 pounds in me. It, just be, it may be another couple of weeks before I get it. Um, I think that was a solid attempt, and I actually was going to try it again afterwards. Um, I ended up loading 405 on the bar yet again, and I, I thought to myself, you know what, I might just kill myself if I attempt this again, because my eyeballs almost popped out of their sockets on that first attempt. So I feel as though it was a good choice to just do that 135 for a cool down type of a set before going into the hack squat. And with the hack squat right now, I'm really trying to focus on bringing in not only my quads, but my hamstrings and glutes as a whole. Everything working together. And so, I am going much deeper than what I normally um, go in this exercise. There are times where I have less of a range of motion in order to really focus on like the quad dominance and to really thrash the shit out of my quads. But on this day, I wanted to bring everything into play. And so, I was basically touching the machine to the bottom. Um, the bottom of the movement. You can actually see I am slamming it a couple of times every so often if I go too deep, but I that wasn't intentional. I just wanted to focus on getting that amazing ass to grass depth. And on that 405, I really should have changed up the camera angle. Um, I really feel as though I could have, um, quite honestly, like dipped my balls in a cup. If I had a cup of water underneath me squatting that 405, I went deep enough to where my balls almost hit the floor, you guys, to give you enough information um, and whatnot so 315 or whatever this is on the hack squat um, again I went up to four plates on this machine for I think like a set of six and that felt decent enough I mean after doing the 405 my central nervous system was pretty damn shocked and so I didn't want to overdo it too much this this workout wasn't too high in volume in all honesty because um, I kind of carved up the day before, and before going into the workout, I had quite a quite a bit of carbs because I wanted to have high energy levels for that 405 attempt. I knew I was going to do it, and I just, it didn't happen this day. So, everyone has frustrating moments, and it's about getting stronger and learning from mistakes. Next time, I may try making breathing much more of a priority. Um, I feel as though my, my foot placement was good. My bar speed looked pretty damn decent. Like it was, I just hit that sticking point and I thought I was going to break through it. I honestly, during the set, I can remember thinking, holy shit, I'm about to get this right now. But then I, I kind of dropped downwards, so I, I ended up queefing, guys. 
And here we are doing some walking lunges. I did like three rounds of this in total. Um, something that I've been implementing again as of late. And this is a far distance with the 55 pound dumbbells. This hurts like a bitch. And my ass cheeks are always so sore the next day. And you know, I really think it's that it not only are these lunges good for like quad development, but they're good for glute and hamstring development as well. It's just a matter of putting the stress where you want it to be. If you take longer strides, then the stress will be more on your glutes and your hamstrings. And shorter strides will, of course, be on the quads. But that is the majority of the workout. I did do some leg extensions, and I, of course, trained calves. So thank you guys very much for watching. This was a quick video. However, I wanted to make it somewhat short. Love you all so much. Peace out. Goodbye.